What is this? Ooh, she fancy. Good morning. This is breakfast, so it is a crusty, a crusty, crispy cheese omelet with pepperoni in it. And then I have some hot sauce, the Taco Bell hot sauce mixed with some sour cream. And it's one egg, one ounce of cheese, eight slices of pepperoni. I have to shove this in my face. Good morning. My hair is very flat on the top and then poofy on the bottom today. No, what's going on with that? Good morning. Happy Friday. I have a splitting headache. Like it's here and here. It's very bizarre. Um, yeah. I'm also having coffee by the way. He made coffee this morning and that makes me very, very, very happy. Mm. It's actually plain coffee. Do I have a little? I feel like I have a little. Yeah. Um, with just two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and some pure. Nothing overly exciting going on today. Nothing at all. Have some fun videos for next week, I think. I have a, a box, an unboxing that I have to do. I have to do like a sponsored video thing. And that's gonna be three days worth of videos. So that'll be fun, four days, three or four days. Um, yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna keep you here while I just ramble on about literally nothing. Ooh. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Hello, so we ran to DNC and despite everybody's warning, actually not everybody, but despite Ashley's warning that this is gross, I finally found the Frosé Rosé and I needed to try it. So I'm gonna try that for you. I also wanted to try this, which is the Raise. I had the white one not that long ago, so this one is Watermelon Frost. We'll have that tomorrow. And then even though, even though Keto Connect was like, don't get these, they're not great. I'm gonna get it. It's, it claims two gram net carbs. They're saying it's more than that. I'm just gonna count it as two gram net carbs. I'm letting ketosis anyway, I'm at a whopping uh, 104 with my glucose and 0.4 for my ketones. I've had one of these before. I don't remember what kind it was. Cookies and cream maybe? And it wasn't great, but we're gonna give this one a shot. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. And that's being a little generous. Much like Ashley over at Oak Rogal, I will link her either in the iCards or below, but I shared her video the other day. If you guys like me, you will love her. Like, there are so many things that she says, I'm like, oh my God, we're the same person. But she said this one tasted like a generic candy taste at first and then into like a really artificial grape. So, I figured why not? <laughs> She could not have described that any more perfectly. That is that is the most accurate description I have ever heard of anyone give any description of anything ever. <laughs> but why don't I hate it? It's definitely not flavored like wine. I don't know why they called it Frosé Rosé. Because that does not taste like Rosé. No ma'am, it does not. Okay, so hey. Um, I am pretty much done the Frosé Rosé, which really, Ashley did do a really good job of, of describing it. And then we were talking and I was like, that was spot on. I said, it's really like a liquid candy necklace. She's like, that's exactly what it tastes like. Cause that is exactly what it tasted like. Um, I had that, oh, that carb grenade bar thing, but now I'm actually like feeling a little bit hungry. It's about 2.15. Um, I'm going to have my Chomps venison stick. So for you guys who don't know what these are, they are meat sticks, which is fairly obvious. Um, they have a bunch of different flavors. They have turkey jalapeno, regular turkey, Italian meat, like the Italian beef or Italian meatball, venison. They're really, really good flavors and they're really, really good beef sticks. So it's a hundred calories, six fat, zero carb, zero fiber, and nine protein for this. Um, it's a hundred percent grass fed venison, a hundred percent grass fed beef, water, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, Cultured celery powder, which is just celery powder and sea salt, black pepper, red pepper, granulated garlic, coriander, stuffed in a beef collagen casing. 
So it is 100% grass-fed, which is awesome for keto people. Um, 100 calories, zero sugar, which is awesome. Rare to find. You guys can try these. They are $19.99 for a 10-pack, I believe, which is like two bucks a piece. And then if you go through the link above and use my code, or link below, I should say, Instagram, the link is above. But if you go through the link below, you can get 15% off and they offer free shipping. So I think it comes to like 17 and change. Um, but I'm going to have this for lunch and I'm really going to like it. And they're not, they're not overly small. I mean, they're the size of my head. I have paid all of the bills. I have taken money out and set it aside for when we go to Disney in July. I have paid the rent. I've paid the Wi-Fi bill. I paid my credit card bill. I paid my car insurance. All of it is early. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So what happens when your paycheck is $1,600 is you can pay some bills ahead of time. <laughs> I'm very hungry for some reason. It's very weird, it's 4.12. So the only thing I have in my office is this, because I wasn't stopping to get food. Um, and I'm gonna drink this and wait out the next hour and 48 minutes. Okay, so hi. I ran to Rouse's, which is the new supermarket on the block. Um, they have one in Spanish for it, but this one I can spit to for my office. Um, they have a salad bar, which is awesome. So if I'm craving a salad, I can just come here and get it. Um, they also have an entire section. This is like low carb lifestyle. It had everything, including Lily's peanut butter cups. So I got the milk chocolate ones. They were lower in carbs. I'm going to taste it with you. Oh, it smells amazing. Definitely salty. Definitely a more bitter chocolate. I kind of really like these. They taste like, um, like if you're on the boardwalk and you get peanut butter cups from like C's candies or something, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but they taste like a candy shop peanut butter cup. These are really good. Really good. Okay, so little teeny tiny mini grocery haul. Um, yeah, so pay no attention to the buns. They were buy one, get one free, so I figured stock up. Um, so we have cookie dough, Rebel. I got a blood orange chocolate bar with the new packaging, because I fancy. Um, I got some Cajun flavored cheddar cheese curds, because that's amazing. Um, the Lily's milk chocolate one. So here are the macros for two. It's 11 grams of fat. Um, it's two carbs total, three protein, 130 calories. So I'm definitely going to be having another one of those. <laughs> um, some green beans because they were buy one, get one free. These because I've never had this flavor before. Um, these were $5 a piece. So I got three bags and I'm very excited. So that's that. Um, avocados were two for a dollar, so I got six, because they are kind of smaller. Um, I got some ground beef, and then this is going to be dinner tonight. I'm going to put this all the way, you guys. I got to figure out how I'm going to put that crap, though, in my freezer, because that's a thing. Holy moly, these are ridiculous. No words. Let's go ahead and turn this so you see it all cute like. Um, an ounce of those Cajun cheddar cheese curds, these are so good. Tablespoon of jalapeno ranch, and then four ounces of the rotisserie chicken that I got for dinner. He is actually at a work meeting, so I told him I'm eating because I'm hungry. So um, this is it. Dinner, yum. Okay, so this is gonna be my dessert. It is just half of the blood orange chocolate bar from Lily's. Um, it's only two gram net carbs, which I didn't think was bad, and it's really good. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. So, you made it to the end of the video. I just have one more request. I need you to scroll down, and look at that red button that says subscribe. That red button is gray, you're good to go. But if it's still red, I need you to punch it with all of your might. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how old you are. Just punch it with all of your might. Physically abuse the button.
and then I need you to go over to that or go over to the like button and uh, physically abuse that one and then you're good to go you can exit out do whatever you want but uh, if you don't do this I will find you 